That is what you need to do, is to read the Bible. Check it before you wreck yourselves, which I'm sure most of you students out here have wrecked yourself. Oh, no, I'm not. Also, how many of you will be out here how watching those porns? <laughs> She's laughing! I've heard it got so bad that the girls are watching it. That porn... Well, I'm just saying, we got to judge between right and wrong. I have the right to judge. I'm so, we're supposed to judge. Why are you judging my judging then? That's the question. Now, how many of you out here are doing the alcohol? Don't get thirsty tomorrow. This is Wacky Wednesday. You're going to end up wacky if you do that. And don't do the wacky tobacco either. You know what I mean. The pot is rot. And you'll be rotting in hell for that. Do what? Can't wait. You can't wait? Do you know what hell is going to be like? Like California warm weather? No. It's not real. Oh, it's real. If it's not real, I wouldn't be out here, but it is real. A person, Hitler, he said hell's not real, and he's right in there too. So you can't wait, why? Why can't I wait? Yeah. I don't really care. It's not real. It's not real. Well, there was a man in the Bible. His name, he was the rich man. You know what? He didn't believe in hell, but he sure did end up there. in the Bible. And that's a good example for us to live by. The Bible is, you ready for this? Basic instructions before leaving earth. It's what the Bible is. It's our roadmap. It's a way to get to the cross to Jesus Christ. He's the only way. Well, I'm just saying, I'm here to warn you students. You're going to get H-E double thunder for what you're doing out here as a warning. It's time to say... No more to the sin. No more to the things of this world. I am in this world, but I'm not of it. I'm looking for something better. But you're looking for something a whole lot worse. Now, how many of you out here are this? Because I heard that Santa Claus has stayed around after Christmas break. There a ho. There a ho. Everywhere. Oh, no, no, no. I hope you two girls. Keep it holy, not holy. Now a hoe, I'm not I'm not talking about your garden grandmother's gardening tool or Chinese last name. I'm talking about a boy and a girl having the sex. Okay, are you not married to Yes, I am. I'm showing you it's possible. Now Sorry. you can get your virginity back. You can become a born again virgin. No, you won't get your hymen back, but you can get your virtue. You can set some standards for you girls. Cross those legs, keep your hands to yourself. Do not drink that margarita on with your date with your boyfriends either. And that's the best thing to talk about during that date. That's my advice to you. And keep it holy and pure. Keep it in your pants, boys. Yes! Jesus has come to this campus. Hell, yeah. come on the hell campus. no. That's a problem. You students keep saying, hell yeah. How many of you know what hell is like? Anybody out here? This is what hell is like. Ah! Why did somebody not warn me I'm in hell? So that's why I'm out here today. You'll be weeping, wailing, and gnashing your teeth in hell as a warning. I'm here to warn you students. Do y'all know of anything that's better than the Bible? That's the problem, y'all don't. There's nothing better than the Bible. There's no one better than Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can save you from your sins. But the problem is, you think it's okay to go out and continue sinning. You think I'll be okay. I'll live to be old as granny. Well, I'm here to tell you students, you can die tonight from drinking that alcohol and get the boot straight. 
into the lake of fire. We're well, just getting started here. This is new the campus. Y'all can't just stop with one drink. I think it's you called American River College. Two drinks? You spread your legs, girls. Three drinks? You in bed with him. This shows you how we get a crowd. Four drinks? Are you kidding me, girls? Guys, warning. Four drinks and she will pounce on you and say she pounced on you. You pounced on her, if you know what I mean. Ooh. And five drinks? We're not going there. That's the problem. Do not drink the alcohol. Big no, no. Do not get thirsty on Thursday. How many of y'all va are va vaping those vapes? Yeah, any vapors out here? A few times. A few times? Don't be a hypocrite. Don't watch her. That's a hypocrite. She's out here talking about a thought. She better look in the mirror. I'm not in class with. No, what you I'm a virgin. You can't judge nobody. That's not your place. I have the right to judge. judge. All right, bitch. So quit judging people when you get beat up. You I have it. the right to judge. I'm supposed to judge. Right for wrong. Righteous judgment. Hi. I'm preparing you for the final judgment. What brought me here today? God told me to come to American River College and to preach to you students. That's what I'm here today. Matthew 28, Mark 16 talks about Jesus Christ saying, Go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news, that he went to the cross, he died, and then he rose again from that grave on the third glorious day. That is what Resurrection Sunday is about, which is coming up. It's not Easter to let you know. You don't mind me asking, what's the goal here? What's the goal here? I'm trying to get your students lost so you can be saved, so God can bring you back into the light. But right now, you are walking in darkness. Yep, you are walking in darkness to let you know. So we're here to set you free. That's right, hell is hot, don't be a thought. I've got the key to set you free from your sins. Yes, I do. His name is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he wants to save you from your sins. And you turn from them and say, uh-uh, back up sin. I don't want to do you anymore. That's what I'm out here to do for you students today. Now, how many of you out here are Christians? Three. Okay, you three Christians that were brave enough. Have you stopped your sins? No. Or have you stopped your sins? Well, what are sins? Anything that goes against the moral law of God that's written on our hearts. We are supposed to love the Lord our God with all our mind, strength, and soul, and to love our neighbors ourselves. That is what all the Ten Commandments are based on. Yes, I have. At the age of six years old, I got down on my knees. I cried out to God. Give me a nice sin. Please be made me pure and holy. That's what he's done. Now I'm living holy as he commands us to. I'm walking in the light as God commands us to. And I say no more to the sin. No more to the things. Now, yes, I could sin. I could choose to sin. But I choose not to. Because I know what that sin does. Correct. It's been a long, long time since I've sinned. And it's washed under the blood of Jesus Christ. And I do those things no more. How many of you out here have a pet animal? You have a pet animal. What do you have? A dog. Okay, let's just say that that dog dies, okay? Would you go back and play with that puppy? Exactly. No, you wouldn't. That sin is like that pet puppy. You need to let it die out. You need to bury it. And don't go back and play with it. That is what Jesus Christ wants to do for you today. He wants to help you get rid of all your sin. And you bury it and say, no more to that. What you think?
think your lifestyle is okay, well, it's a death style. There is a deadline on your life. What are you going to do when you meet God? What? Yeah, you're going to say hi, but he might be saying bye to you. Why? Because you didn't accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And then he's going to say the last thing he wants to say to anybody. Does anybody know what that is? Taking a picture. Okay. Yeah. Declare for me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you. And God's going to say the best thing to me. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over few things. I'll make thee a ruler over many. Enter in to the kingdom of God. That is what we I want to hear. But you students out here want to hear depart. Why do y'all want to spend an eternity in hell? You're gay? We can help you pray the gay away. And you're too pretty to be gay. You're too pretty to be gay. Be a lesbo no more. We're even out here for the homos. This side? Hell is hot, don't be up the muck. The ho mo over there as well. The whoremonger, the whore. We're out here for all of you today. What? That's offensive. That's offensive? Are you out here pimping these hoes? I'm gay. You're gay? Yes. How much of a homo are you? I like that. What? How much of a homosexual are you compared to Ellen the DeGeneres? I'm the smartest person out here. Yeah, but God don't bash, though. I was a valid But you're out here bashing. Class. God don't bash, but you're bashing. He's going to bash you one day. Bam, bam, you're in hell. Yeah, you're, yeah there's hope for you today. Yes, it's Sister Rena, the virgin, virgin power. Virgin for Jesus. We're right. an American Okay, River if you want to talk to somebody, there's University. two others out here. Brother Jed and Sister Cindy, you can talk to them. I'm out here for this homosexual. Right? What? Uh, he, what? Hey, he wants to forgive you of your sins, make you a new person, and walk in the light as he is in the light. But most of you out here, like this homo, you want to continue, yes? You want to continue walking in the darkness, continue walking with the devil, and he's dragging you to hell with him. So you're saying that. And the results are in. The devil is your daddy. He's the father of all lies. He's telling you this is okay to do. When that's not, that is not right. It's that, actually more like this. What? Well, you get what I mean, don't you? Homosexuals. It's in the house. You do the anal? No, I, I actually have a girlfriend. I'll just fuck with you, but yeah, that's probably how it is. Where's your girlfriend at? I need to tell her she needs to drop you like a hot potato. I think she's at church right now. Good, she needs to be praying for you. Back. What? Back. Yeah, she needs to say, God, save my boyfriend. Bring him back to the light. That's what she needs to be doing for you. You saved her. So you're she did it. Well, and now, and what he needs to do, there's hope for him to be out here listening to the preaching. We're the answer to your girlfriend's prayers. You can get saved today, and you can quit whoremongering around with her. Why, why can you like men, but I can't? Because Just I am get a woman. started sharing the gospel of Jesus well, Christ. Here, we're in Sacramento, California. Brand new campus. Here on the West Coast, Pacific Time, it's about noon. You can see Brother Jed over there. And like Clark they have no idea. So we'll be here four or five hours. Great for us. She already did it. I said, you No, thank you to that. Pray for Sister Myrna. She feels Pray for Brother Jed. Pray for me.
pray for the students. Brother Jed right over here, you can talk to him. Yes.